It's been a soggy growing season for many areas of the province. While some crops have struggled with excess moisture, it seems other crops are looking better thanks, in some cases, to tile drainage. And on the tiled land, it's pretty evident when you fly over and have a look that, yeah, maybe there's some parts of the field that are a little weaker than others, but when you compare them side by side, similar crops, similar planting dates, etc., um, the amount of drown out is just not there. In fact, uh, a lot of tiled land, there's just none. Uh, there may be weaker areas, but there is no drown out on, on, on a lot of the tiled land. And the difference is evident. You can see on this quarter section. Here we have tiled versus not tiled. While the difference is visual, UNRWA says they're not sure yet how this will influence yield, but he expects it will, as tiling is designed for the weather we've experienced this growing season. What's happened this year is we've had the kind of weather that tile is designed to handle, where we get repetitive amounts of significant rainfall. So we'll get an inch, two days later we'll get another inch, two days later we'll get another inch and a half. It just kind of keeps in that repetitive cycle. And that's where tile really, really shines. And the other thing I should say too is that what tile really helps in those kind of situations is it allows the water table to drain out slowly over time so that the, when the next rainfall comes, there's room for it to soak in. UNRWA says tiling isn't a perfect solution, but he says it can provide sleep insurance for farmers needing to finish field work. For the Manitoba Farm Journal, I'm Amy Jean McLean.